Welcome to Bible Track Echoes. This program is the radio ministry of Bible Tracks Incorporated. Our mission is to take the Word of God to all the world. Our Bible teacher is the director of Bible Tracks, Pastor Mark Smith. Since 1938, Bible Tracks Incorporated has been publishing clear gospel tracks and supplying them to churches, missionaries, and individuals all over the world and all at no charge. Information on how you can receive a free sample pack of our tracts will be given at the end of this broadcast. Now for our Bible study, here is our teacher, Pastor Mark Smith. Hello, my friend. Welcome to the Tuesday edition of Bible Tract Echoes. It's Tract and Truth Tuesday. Well, that's the title we give to each and every one of our Tuesday broadcast here at Bible Tract Echoes. On our Tuesday broadcast, we willfully set aside our typical Bible study time to hopefully strengthen one another in our ability to tell the gospel and hopefully encourage one another in doing the work of telling people and giving people the gospel. And to that end, I want to put some gospel tracts in your hand. I've got one here I want to explain to you here in just a moment. And I have my Bible open to the Gospel of John in chapter 14, although I really don't. I can quote John 14, verse 6. I hope you can as well. And if you can't quote John 14, 6 from memory, why don't you make it your New Year's role and goal to memorize John 14, 6? Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. Well, I received one of the greatest Christmas presents ever this year. I was sitting in our living room about 7.30 in the morning, Christmas morning. I was enjoying my second cup of coffee for the day when our door begins to rattle. And I answered the door, and there was a 20-year-old girl. I'll call her Mary. I first met Mary when she was 14. She and her mom had come to this country illegally. And what does God do? Well, he has them move in next door to me. Their English skills are poor at best. Now, let me just add here that I have pretty conservative views on the whole subject of immigration, but I also have God's view about people. Uh, Let me add, too, that over the process of uh, years, this family has become legal at a cost them a great deal of money. Well, back to the story. Since God put this family next door to me, I figured God expects me to share with them the gospel. So I do that. I give them gospel tracts in Spanish because their English skills are bad. And from time to time, I did things to try to show them I wanted to be their friend. Since there was no man living next door, I wanted and I wanted to show them and let them know that I cared about them, I would do things like mow their lawn about, oh, every other time that it needed to be mowed, and I'd shovel their snow. As Mary went to school, To be sure, her English skills got better, that is, until she got to high school and had a semester course on the on the writings of Shakespeare. Well, reading Shakespeare with her weak English background made that course hard. She asked for me for to help her, and of course my love for the King James Bible gives me a wee bit of a leg up on Shakespearean English. I did help her, and at that point I gave her a Bible to help her with her English. I'll come back to that part of the story. I'm going to finish the story here in just a moment. This will lead up to that really special gift I want to share with you. I mentioned a gospel tract here a moment ago. I have a free sample packet of gospel tracts. There's 40 different gospel tracts in that sample packet. I want to give it to you. And I said, it is free. At the end of the program, my announcer will be giving you three ways by which you can communicate with us. And if you'll do that, giving us your name and a clear mailing address, we will give you that sample packet absolutely free. One of the tracts in that sample packet is this one, R you afraid. A gospel tract is simply a short presentation of God's plan of salvation. It's done in a clear fashion. It cuts right to the chase. This gospel tract, Are You Afraid?, is geared for kids 
because kids are afraid of so many things these days, things like strangers and death and storms and animals and their parents getting divorced and, well, all kinds of stuff. We help confront that using the verse out of Isaiah, Isaiah 40, verse 10, fear thou not, for I am with thee, be not dismayed, for I am thy God, and the verse goes on. I explain that verse in kid language in this track, but I do it in such a way that it leads right into a presentation of the gospel of Jesus Christ, and young children, we're talking about elementary age kids are coming to Christ through this gospel track. It's a great tool for you, mom and dad, grandma, grandpa, Sunday school teacher, great tool. Gospel tracts are being used by God to see thousands come to Christ every year. Why not through your life as well? Please be ready when my announcer gives our contact information. You can go to our website and order the sample packet there. Our web address is BibleTracksInc.org. BibleTracksInc.org. Every once in a while, somebody will ask me and say, what in the world do you guys do there at Bible Tracks Incorporated? Bible Tracks Incorporated is the larger arm uh, the, of the ministry here. Our main thrust is gospel tracks. We do gospel radio to help us tell people about how they can get gospel tracks. What do we actually do here? Well, first and foremost, our major task is the publishing of gospel tracks. We publish them in different places around the world in different languages so we can put into the hands of God's servants, lay people particularly, put tools in their hand by which they can share the gospel with the people around them. And literally thousands of people, as I said, come to Christ every year all over the world as God's people love the lost around them, hand them the gospel, and they uh, see their friends, their neighbors, their family come to faith in Jesus Christ. Again, let me send you that sample packet to help you. As we're getting gospel tracts published, and as we talk about them here on the radio, I am also out in churches uh, almost every weekend trying to share the ministry of what we do here. Since we give our tracts away free of charge, I go to churches and I share the burden uh, for this ministry, and I ask local churches and individuals to stand with us and allow us to be one of their missionaries. But as I'm in churches, I, yes, talk about the track ministry, but I also go and preach the gospel. I love preaching the gospel. I teach in Bible conferences as churches has those. I speak in missions conferences. Many churches have an annual missions conference. We are in those as well. I hold men's meeting, helping men to be strong in their walk with the Lord. We want to help pastors to teach their folk how to share the gospel and how to disciple new believers. Uh, my chief concern as I go to a church to be there is to help leave the church stronger and better because of our visit. I want to help the pastor accomplish what God has put on his heart. As your local church is thinking about this year's schedule of events, why not plan a gospel track Sunday or even a gospel track weekend, and let's strengthen the work of the gospel in your town. Pray about that. Well, let me come back to my story about Mary. Because of my friendship with Mary, she started introducing me to her friends as her grandfather. <laughs> I took it as a badge of honor. Well, I helped her study Shakespeare, as I said, and I gave Mary a Bible. But when I did, I said, no, listen, you need to read this Bible. And I urged her to read the Gospel of John, a chapter every day, and ask her to find out one thing in each chapter she learned about Jesus. Well, frankly, I had not had a conversation with Mary in well over two and almost three years. Well, Christmas morning, 7.30, she gives my wife and I a small gift. But with that gift, she handed me a letter. I want to read it to you. Here is that gift that really made my Christmas. She says, Merry Christmas, Mr. and Mrs. Smith. Thank you for cutting our lawn, shoveling our snow. Thank you for always being there. And I appreciate you for everything. I hope you and Nancy have a wonderful Christmas. I want to tell you about my reading the book of John. I never realized the gospel of John was very different from Mark, Matthew, and Luke. 
they follow the same structure and synoptic. Notice the word she's using here. I enjoyed seeing John's perspective of Jesus, of his divine, eternal living and transcendence. I also, how Jesus is the Son of God. I like the signs John gives, and my favorite one is in chapter 6 when he walks on the water. I think Jesus is walking on water was enough evidence to show he is the Son of God and transcendent. My favorite verse is John 14, 6, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. Thank you for recommending me reading the book of John. I like that he was a non-synoptic writer. I have asked Jesus Christ to be my Savior, and I've memorized John 14, 6. I'm on my way to heaven because Jesus, the Son of God, has saved me from my sin. Have a Merry Christmas. We love you and Nancy sincerely and signs her name. Now listen to me, beloved. That's what it's all about. It's taken six, it's taken six years for this to happen. I had not done anything in Mary's life in a long time. I planted the seed, prayed over the seed. I'd watered the seed. I helped where I could. I became a friend. I did physical acts of kindness, trying to make sure people know that, no, I don't know your language well, and, and I want to help you with that and so on, but I want to be your friend. And so, friend, ask me. Go ahead, ask me. Was mowing their lawn worth it? Was shoveling their snow worth it? Absolutely. Oh, beloved, we've got to find ways to let lost people know that they matter to us. They're not just, uh, we don't just share the gospel with lost people to add a notch onto our gun, a spiritual gun. We share the gospel with lost people because they matter. They matter enough for us to use our energy and befriend them even when the communication lines are struggling because there's a language barrier. There's a cultural barrier. Friend, I make friends with people of all kinds of culture. I have friends that are Muslim. I have friends that are Buddhists. I have friends that are that are, are Hindu. I make friends with people because Jesus made friends with people. He allowed himself to uh, rub shoulders with lost people that he might share with them the gospel. I want you, I want you to join me in sharing the gospel with more people. My announcer is about ready to come on and share with you our contact information. Get a piece of paper ready right now. Jot down the phone number. Jot down the mailing address. Jot down the email address. Go to our website, BibleTracksInc.org. Get the free sample packet. And let's make this year a year when the gospel is not just something we talk about inside the four walls of our church, but it's something we do. Do. It becomes part of our lifestyle. We share the gospel with the people we, God brings into our life, the people that come across our path, because eternity, friend, eternity, it matters to God, and people matter to God. Therefore, people matter to us. God help us. Amen. Thank you for joining us today for Bible Tract Echoes. If you would like to receive a free sample packet of our tracks, you can contact us by calling 309-828-6888. Our mailing address is Bible Tracks, P.O. Box 188, Bloomington, Illinois, 61702. Again, our phone number is 309-828-6888. And our mailing address is P.O. Box 188, Bloomington, Illinois, 61702. You can also contact us through our website. Our web address is BibleTracksInc.org. Remember, the word tracks is spelled T-R-A-C-T-S. That address is BibleTracksInc.org. May the Lord richly bless you as you serve Him.